you're seeking a way to really give your home that unique touch, look no further than Anticare in Highland Park. I decided to swing by this Chicagoland gem to explore these timeless treasures and meet the woman behind these extravagant finds. We are with Melissa Edelman here in Highland Park at Antiquaire. Am I pronouncing that right? Antiquaire, correct. Antiquaire. Okay, and what does that mean? Antique dealer. It's just the French word for antique dealer. Okay, and this is where all the designers come, right here from all over the city. And uh, we're going to find out a little bit about what it's all about here. Oh, Our, a nice little find. I'm so excited. Katie, everything in here is European. We have things primarily from France, but we have Dutch, we have Gustavian Swedish, we have Italian, Spanish, and pottery from Turkey. So there's uh, quite a variety of things. And do you here. go to those places? Or do you yes, I do. Yes, I do. So I just, the last time I was in France was just this past October. Had a wonderful, wonderful time. Uh, I loved being in Turkey shopping and going out in, far into the countryside to find the pottery. It was a blast. Oh my gosh. And how do you know about, about the places in Turkey and France? How do you find out about them? I don't. I wander. I totally wander. I'm, I just wander around and you get clues from certain people and one thing leads to another and you just keep going and the trail is getting hotter and you find it and that's literally how it's how it's done. So pretty much everything here in the story you found and brought back to the States? Correct. Isn't that so cool? Oh my gosh, it gets me excited. Well, let's go take a look and see what you have. Okay, oh let's do that. Melissa, when I walked in, this is one of the first pieces I noticed. This is an Italian Rococo style sofa, gilded. Okay, and tell me the story on this one. I was in France, I was in Paris, and walked into a shop where I found this piece and I just absolutely fell in love with it. I've never really seen anything like it. And when do you think this was made? This is going to be the early 1900s. Okay. Now, what it's would very this different. run? How much would this run? Roughly? This is probably one of my most expensive pieces okay. in this store. So you're talking in the high teens for a okay. piece like this. Okay. I'm now, excited. this reminds me of the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Yes. It that. It's so big and grand. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous armoire, a chapeau de gendarme, and it's made of solid walnut. Now, by looking at this, can you tell what date it is or how old it is? Or well, what you're going to do is you're going to look at the ironwork, you're going to look at the type of flowers that it has and the carvings, which were going to be typical of a certain era. Okay. So this is going to be early 1800s. This is beautiful. From a decorating perspective, why is it kind of, why do people have antiques, do you think? What is it? I think with a lot of these pieces, they're charming. They're actually more charming than some other pieces of furniture. Uh, I love new furniture as well, don't get me wrong, but it's nice to mix. Even if you have the most modern room on the planet, they put in one tiny little accent piece to kind of break it up a little, and it just gives it that charm. And tell me about this. This is from the 1920s, and this is a, a hotel seat that was in the lobby of a hotel. That reminds me of the old movies. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Oh, thank you for topping me off. Thank you. And nothing like a little champagne with French antiques. This was perfect. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you for being here, Katie. Oh, this is great. I'm going to have to spend more time here next time, so cheers to this. Cheers. If you want more information, you can go to our website at 247chicago.tv or check out Melissa's website. OnToCareOnline.com. Oh, thank you. What a great day.